name's Chris Canning and I'm a painter. My love is still life. I was born in Melbourne quite a long time ago. I'll be 69 shortly. In those days, the place that we lived was Blackburn and it was just paddocks. You could not see other houses and my father built our house. They had to um, build a cyclone fence around it because I kept taking off. Uh, <laughs> I've still got that sort of, um, that lust for taking off. We first met um, when we were both living in the Dandenong Ranges. But a friend of mine had worked for David and kept saying to me, oh, you should come and meet this man. And uh, so she actually took me to meet David, introduced us, and I asked could I get flowers to paint. And yes, I feel very blessed to find in this man that, you know, has been a joy. Probably a few years after we met, David bred this fabulous geranium. It is this exquisite blue. It's a deep, deep sort of singing colour. It's beautiful. He decided that he was going to name the flower Geranium Chris Canning, which is, you know, how romantic. Being married to a man whose life is about flowers has definitely flowed on into my work. The ceramics I've been collecting literally for 30 years in a serious way. I'll be going past the shop and I'll go to David, hang on, hang on, stop, I've just seen something. And it, sometimes some of my pieces are quite valuable pieces and I will buy them if I think I can create something with that piece. Nine years ago, in 2007, the Ballarat and Mornington Peninsula Gallery had a retrospective of the past 35 years of my work. So we um, borrowed back paintings from all over Australia and overseas for that. 43,000 people came to my exhibition. I was walking through 35 years of my life. The way I would describe it is that it was like being handed back my journals that period of my life because each of those paintings, I never forget my paintings, I've spent a lot of time on them, I've put everything into each painting. I paint each object and I finish it before I move on to the next. So most painters scumble over and have this complete tonal thing happening right across. I've never ever been able to work like that. If I see something and it's beautiful, I want to capture that one thing in its entirety with this energy and excitement. So I do that, I finish that bit, then I move on to the next. So it's like putting together this giant jigsaw puzzle. Where it gets tricky is then I put all the backgrounds in last. In this body of work, I've in a way used less flowers in a lot of the paintings. But I had this really powerful dream about this painting. It was so strong and so clear that I just went into the studio. This, this painting had no flowers. I set this painting up, it was as though I had already painted it and there were three paintings in this dream. The first one was incredibly clear, the next one I could see but not as clearly and the third the same. So I knew there was a series. They have each 13 objects I think it is in them. They have fabric and each of the fabrics has some motif of a leaf. They have been a really important part of this exhibition for me. We've built here together something that people come and say, oh my God, you live in paradise. And I could not agree more. I feel very fortunate.